Well, hello guys, and I'm back to show you some great pickups from this weekend's excursions. So I want to start the pickups off, of course, with my Call of Duty Black Ops 4 mug. Yeah, it was on $5 Friday at EV Games. And <laughs> I don't know why it's pink, but I got a belt buckle Nintendo controller just happens to be pink. I have no idea why, but I seen it. It was a dollar, picked it up. The best thing I picked up is at the end of this video. It's not a video game, but it's video game related and I am so happy. So watch to the end. I'll start off with, it was a Sega title and I wanted it because of that in my collection, but it's definitely not something I think that I would ever play. And that is Trauma Center Under the Knife. Trauma Center Under the Knife is, I don't know, a little too odd for me. It's not my kind of thing. No offense if you really like this game. I've never tried it, so maybe I wouldn't mind it as much, but it's a Sega title. I collect everything Sega, so unfortunately sometimes a Sega title just gets added to my collection. I think this is one of them. Next is Animal Crossing's New Leaf. This is something my children have been looking for. It is not something that I'm very interested in as I'm not much of an Animal Crossing gamer by any means. I know from the past it's like some sort of farming or, or whatever type game or I mean that could be just one aspect or one game. Who knows? It is not something I've ever played before. So when I buy Animal Crossing games, I haven't even watched my children play them. So to be honest, I do not know this series whatsoever. I just know that it actually is very loved. Next is Rabbit's Rumble. Now, when I got the trailer for this, I was laughing. These guys remind me of Minions all the time. And it's definitely something that I'll probably try out because it just looks funny. Um, these guys are just crazy. I watched the cartoons, I think, with my kids a year or so ago, and they're just hilarious. Next, guys, is Deuce X for the PS4. Deuce X is a series that I played a lot uh, on PC way back when. Um, it, it definitely has evolved in many ways. It was a game series that was kind of dead and sent to the side up until years ago. Um, but it was definitely a good series that needed to continue and they're doing that now. So that is pretty cool. Now guys, one game that I picked up for the PC and I had to get it, it's Ragdoll Kung Fu. And this is the Black Belt Edition. So the Black Belt Edition, basically it has a poster and everything in there. Oh, there's my value village thing. But this was intact. It had the poster and everything all in here. And I thought, you know what? Yes, I overpaid for it. I paid $5.99 Canadian or something for it, which I think is ridiculous at Value Village now what they're doing. But it was just so stupid looking, I had to pick it up. And as you guys can see in the video, this is one of the dumbest looking games I've ever seen in my life. And because of that, I had to get it. Okay, right, guys, the next thing is actually a TV series and it's G.I. Joe Renegades. And this is season one, I think volume one. There was a season one, volume two. I'm gonna look for that one. It was actually sealed. I got it for two bucks at a flea market today. And what is crazy about this is it was a reboot, I think around 2010, 2011. And it never made it to a second series, which is really sad. It was put out alongside, I believe, the time when they were putting out the 30th anniversary G.I. Joe figures. And of course, that died off too. And it's sad because G.I. Joe, when I grew up, was an amazing cartoon series that I, you know, had to see. Every time it came out, a new episode came out, I had to watch it. I was so in love with G.I. Joe. And then today, what G.I. Joe has become is just a disaster. It is so sad. Now, all the hype of Tempest. I picked up Tempest 4000. They were putting them on for $19.99 at your EB Games. And this was supposed to be brand new, but of course, for some weird reason, I did not get a sealed copy, even though it said new on the sticker. And I thought that was kind of horrible, but it's different. I've never played the Tempest series. One, I never owned a Jaguar. 
So there for starters, I never had an opportunity to play it. And if Tempest is out on anything else from that era, let me know because maybe I have that console and I would mind trying out the original. But I believe it was a Jaguar game and all I have for a Jaguar is a, uh, I think it's a fighter jet game or something. I can't remember the name of it, Blue something or whatever. And it's a CD-ROM or something. But I figured, you know what? There's a lot of hype about Tempest. Tempest was put out on the, uh, was it the uh, one-up arcades i believe as well and i seen tempest 4000 it was 1999 i know that after that point it's probably going to disappear and you won't be able to pick it up in the stores anymore so i figured i'm going to pick it up and see what all this hype about tempest is hey my kids have been fighting on the wii u yes i said the wii u because my nintendo switch does not work yeah so i had to pick up another copy of zelda breath of the wild now, my daughters have been playing Zelda Breath of the Wild consistently since I picked it up. And this is my second copy because I have a second Wii U and I gotta separate the two. Because what's happening now is basically one's trying to do a mission and then it's her turn. The next kid takes it and goes off doing something else after the other kid tried to do this, you know, huge mountain climb to get at some boss they gotta fight or whatever, or some mission they gotta complete and the other one just goes off and wrecks it by doing some other thing because it's her turn. They're using the same saves. So <laughs> I had no choice. I got a wicked deal and I took it. Now for the Wii U, again, two games I did not actually have. And one of them was Mario Kart 8. I had a chance to pick up Mario Kart 8 at a yard sale once. The guy went inside, came out with some Wii U games Unfortunately, all of them I had, and I'm not one to just buy doubles on purpose. So I wasn't purposely going to just take these for selling or whatever. And he had Mario Kart 8 and I was so excited. And I think I was going to pay like 20 bucks or something for it, uh, whatever he was asking. And when we opened it, the disc was cracked. And when I say cracked, it was severed from the center all the way to the edge. So unfortunately, his kids were pretty rough on the games and I didn't get it, but now I have it. So I got it added to my collection. I'm pretty happy and stoked about that. Me and my children are gonna love it. And now the last game I picked up was Super Smash Bros. Wii U edition. Now what I love about this of course is Sonic is in it, Pac-Man's in it, and so on. And Super Smash Bros. is actually a pretty cool game. I only had one Super Smash Bro, I think, no, I think I have an older one, but I have the one for the Wii. And uh, that was pretty cool too, but I haven't had a chance and I see all these videos and even today people are playing Super Smash Bros and having tons of fun, but not me, because I didn't have it. But now I actually have it and I get to enjoy it on my Wii U. So guys, what was the big thing that I picked up that I'm so excited about? Like it's, it's like the most amazing thing that I picked up. Well, I'm gonna show you guys. Okay guys, the end of the show now, and I'm here in front of my TV, about to watch G.I. Joe, hang out with my best friend, Shadow, which looks like he was trying to leave me. I don't know why you would do that, buddy. Thought we were doing a hangout. And want to show you the last thing that I picked up on this weekend. And it was the Sonic the Hedgehog throw. So I'm gonna cuddle up with my, what I'm gonna call Blanky, and watch my show. Guys, till next time, Thanks for watching. It's been all fun and games. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hammer that bell for the next up and coming episode.